I was four years old and my father was a physical therapist and I went to one of the hospitals with him. So the nurses are all entertaining me. And one of them asked me, well, what do you want to be when you grow up? And I said, well, I want to be a nurse. And she looked at me and she says, you know, you could be a doctor. And I'm like, what? Yeah, girls can't be doctors. And I'll tell you, this is in the early 60s. And she goes, girls absolutely can be doctors. And I was like, wow, you know what? I'm going to be a doctor. My name is Patricia Carney. I'm a board certified OBGYN physician and I work for Bayer. I am the Director of U.S. Medical Affairs for Women's Health. I do a lot of different things. Education, educating uh, physicians, and then I also work with clinical trials, so the, the research end of, of what Bayer does. I love what I do um, with the work that I do at Bayer. Things were somewhat different back in the, the 60s and the 70s when I was going through school. My family is the typical South Philadelphia Italian-American family where um, boys are supposed to succeed and girls are supposed to be housewives and mothers. I mean, that was the expectation in some ways. I went through medical school when there were women in, in medical school but we weren't um, the majority. I mean, medical schools now are half women. We certainly weren't. Um, and there were times where I faced some negative encounters. Why are you, you know, we don't want a girl here type of thing. For me, that actually galvanized me more. It is, I do belong here, and I don't care if I have to work twice as hard and be twice as good, I'm gonna do it. I think a great example is when I went through medical school, and we have our third year of medical school rotations where we're, we're in the hospitals, and I had the audacity to get pregnant. Very planned, but I went through the majority of my rotations very pregnant and at the end of it I was the only student out of 150 students in my class to get honors in every single one of my rotations. I, I remember when I went into practice and I went to my first hospital all staff meeting and there were maybe a couple hundred doctors and I looked around and there were maybe three women and it's like oh I don't belong here. You know, I'm a top graduate from a top medical school who has accomplished so much, and yet the first th thought in my mind was, I don't belong here because I don't look like the people around me. I think that what's going to help is as we get more minorities, as we get more women in these positions, so that these kids can look and see, hey, you know what? I do look like who's in this field, I think that's gonna help. In the meantime, I think teachers need to be very sensitive to this issue. Girls say, I'm not as good, or minorities look and say, hey, you know what, there's nobody like me, I must not be as good. You do belong. And it doesn't matter if you don't look like the other people you're just as good.